Well, federal funding is on the way to Bradley University, bolstering the college's nursing program. And our Demetria Sanders shows us how federal dollars will help train and attract local nurses of the future. Demetrius. Well, Rebecca Shelby, many healthcare systems are facing the same issue a lack of nurses only exacerbated by the COVID 19 pandemic. Now, nearly a million dollars in federal funding is going to Bradley University, helping address the shortage by equipping students with the tools they need. As healthcare systems nationwide search for nurses, U.S. Senator Dick Durbin says Illinois is no different as the workforce ages. Statewide, more than 50% of our nurses are over the age of 55, and nearly 30% plan to retire within the next five years. The shortage leading to long hours and burnout, which could impact patient care. An inadequate nursing workforce has been linked to higher hospital readmission, increased likelihood of infection in hospitals, and unnecessary death. Tuesday, Senator Durbin announcing $850,000 in federal funding to support Bradley University's nursing program. The funds will be used to install a state of the art multi patient nursing simulation. This simulation expansion will allow students to access the use of high fidelity mannequins to provide medically immersive, real life simulated medical scenarios. The funding also creating a workforce development program allowing certain Peoria Public High School students to use the labs and simulators. What I really would like them to do is just have the opportunity to touch things and ask questions and then, um, you know, think about how maybe they would react with things like blood and body fluids. And by Training students in the Peoria area, Durbin says it helps keep them in the region as they start their career. They do their clinical work there, their life experiences there, they feel at home here. Now, Clark says Bradley is planning for the new nursing simulation center to be operational within the next four to five months. Shelby.